And finally, the Indian approach, which I consider the best of the three. The Indian approach is actually a special case of a technique we'll study later, known as row or column expansion. When you take the Indian approach, you single out a particular row or column, and for the sake of this video, let's say row, and corresponding to each entry in that row, there is a term which includes a simple two by two determinant. For example, let's single out the first row in this case. And so there will be a term corresponding to the one and another term corresponding to the two and another term corresponding to the three. And the two by two determinant that corresponds to the one is this one right here. The way to come up with this two by two determinant is to mentally cross out the column and the row that the pivot, as it will come to be called, is in. So in this case, we cross out the first column and the first row, and we're left with this simple two by two determinant. And of course, the value of this determinant is five times nine minus eight times six. And the great advantage of the Indian approach is that the simple two by two determinant can be evaluated on the fly. You can do it in your head. You don't have to write it down because after all, it's 45 minus 48. That's simply negative three. So we'll do it for the next two terms. In this case, we'll simply write it down to make another point. But it's important to keep in mind that you don't have to write this down. You can simply evaluate this two by two determinant. And in place of this long expression, simply write down minus three. Okay, but here's the point that I would like to make here. If we were to multiply this out, and of course there is no reason to do it, you will find two of these six terms. Indeed, you will have one times five times nine minus one times eight times six. And here they are, one times five times nine minus one times eight times six. All right, so this is the first of the three terms. And that's why I left it like this, unevaluated, so we can match up the terms that we see here with the terms that we obtained before. Now let's actually jump to the three because there will be something special about the two. So for the three, you have to cross out the column that the three is in and the row that the three is in. And you will see that you end up with this two by two determinant right here. And of course, it's four times eight minus seven times five. In other words, 32 minus 35. Once again, negative three. And do you see how simple it is? You simply evaluate the determinant in your head and write down the result, saving a lot of writing and a lot of calculations later. Now we're down to this two. And the key thing to remember is that there is a minus in front of the two. You will get used to this characteristic alternation of signs when it comes to determinants. The first one comes with a plus, minus, and then the last one comes with a plus. So what you need to be very careful to remember is this minus sign. And the rest is the same. You simply have to cross out the column and the row that the two is in. And for all three of these, it's the same row, but the column is different. And you're left with this determinant. Let's use green chalk. It's this piece right here and this piece right here. And you have to mentally put it together and evaluate the corresponding determinant. And you will have four times nine minus seven times six, which is simply 36 minus 42, 36 minus 42, so minus six, minus six. And now all that's left is to evaluate this simple expression. And remember that in actuality, instead of this longer expression, you will simply have a negative three. So what do we have? Minus three plus 12 minus nine, zero. This was a lot of talking, but once you get the hang of this, you will see that this actually goes pretty fast and it's the least amount of writing and computation compared to the other two approaches. And so we have zero, and this is the Indian approach. So in the next video, we will choose a different matrix and illustrate 
each one of these three approaches.